And take a look at that lineup. There are three true freshmen who start. Ryland Hedgecock is a red. And has been inconsistent at times with moments of greatness. Expect to see her mid-60s. Good changeup. Terrific number. And a great start for Sullivan. Love the ability. Kramer last year, just seven official at back. Back one, two counts for Sullivan. That is lifted into left field. Smith playing shallow, tripped as she hit the dirt and was unable to make the catch. Ways, she's been there a while. Terrific catcher, and we all know Rachel. For Kentucky in a row. Alverson sends it towards Tobias. That runs, or, excuse me, will move the runner over to third. Extended playing time. She's a cleanup hitter now. Cleanup hitter leads the team in power and saw staying disciplined on that ball up in the zone. That one gets away from Kowalik, Arkansas. Breaks on top with the wild pitch from. Base is empty for Hannah Gamble, gloved by Lorsen. Throws across to get the final out, but the damage done. 17th start here today, 13 complete games. Expect to see a really tough outing from the Cat. And there is Kayla in a very unfamiliar position for her. The first playing well in. They're about a third of the way down the line before the pitch is even. Battle this season. Something that we have seen called way more often. Nesby watches strike three go by. First one. Ole Miss, she was intentionally walked eight times. Against right, he's hitting four. 12 straight years with this staff. Kowalik up the middle, seeing eye. Single, two on. Back in Coach Lawson's tenure. But has already made the Mount Rush. That's picked nicely by Gamble to get the second out of the inning. That was her only play. But caught in the lineup this afternoon. That is pounded into left field. Kramer goes back and gathers it in. A couple of steps today. Got that little special treat as they walked in. Arkansas with the twins. Lauren knocks that over towards Tobias for the first out of the second inning. We talked about how mature and bright and just what an impressive human being last year's record. Pounds that one off the glove of Lorsing. It goes into left field. Foreman gets herself a one out. And she is a one of their power hitters. She can get a stupid strong <laughs> when we asked about her. That one got inside and got a piece of her. So Kennedy Sullivan hits one word and everyone was thinking she didn't have a good time, but she's just one of those play 90 well before Italia was even a glint in anybody's eye. Kowalik lost it. It and misplayed. That one is set into the air. Koffel camps. Seeing the higher averages coming up with Hanover is unavailable this weekend. 2-2, Two -two, tap. That's a tough play. Goes off the glove of Sullivan. Everybody's safe. Is on the infield for both of these squads. Slappers taking advantage of the area in front of home plate that continues to give the hop over. The Got her. Huge strikeout for Sullivan. The Hawk Stadium. Also the tournament MVP of the SEC tournament. That one, however, hit ebbs. Kentucky gets a leadoff runner on to start the second. Yeah, that is death. We'll start Kentucky off with a runner at first. To the outfield. And when you talk about a hitter from the left side that has multiple... Down one and two, and she goes down. Kamenzen applies the tag to make it see. Now Miko Harrison up for the first. Lifted into short left field, playable. Sunglasses on for Kramer, out number two. At Sun. Sophomore from Urbandale, Iowa. Mack takes off again, and she is safe again. First of two games coming your way. And now Kylie Halverson. What about it? 
That one is skied in the left field. Got under it, Riley Smith battling the sun and the wind. Her numbers are down, but... Popped up. Sullivan grabs it. That is the first one, two, three inning. Have the tournament back at Bogle Park for Arkansas, so. Error, honor and run back in the first is all we have to show for all the work, and that is a strikeout third one. Fooled and was stranded back in the first inning. There's Koppel just mashes it towards the dole, ties it up. No doubter, that one clears the camera scissor lift out there in center field. Huge blast, ties this game up. Bremen, Indiana. Kowalik just missed that one right at the lip of the Warning track, Rabbi by name of Jocelyn Allo. Not little. Who got really close. <laughs> she did get really close. And I Play defense after you hit a home run, I would think. Orsing, Orsing strikes out. Second strikeout of the inning for Tom. In the second inning when Arkansas left him loaded, that's over to Koffel, not in time to get the double play. But she used that power as she wore the pitch, that curveball that got away from Sullivan. Issue. Up and hit that on the nose under Tobias's glove. Foreman running all the way, slides into third and An opportunity for the freshman. Home run in the bottom of the third. Sent into the left field. That should be enough to get a run home. Caught by Nesby, but on the tag, both runners move up. Foreman scores to make it. Under the tag box, she can leave third as soon as the ball is touched by the outfielder. So great timing by Foreman to leave. Infield single, her last. Over the glove of Koffel. Arkansas with another run on the board. Pushing it over the shortstop Koffel's glove. There is no way she's going to be able to get it in, and the defense for Kentucky can just simply get it into second base. On the advancement by Hoffman, they take the lead. Run was scored on a sack fly. Finally, a, a hit gets somebody in. Four innings pitched. Lifted towards Smith, grabs it for the final out, but two runs. Was undergoing chemotherapy. Sullivan thrown out. Now down one and two. Fifth strikeout. Smith, solid single. With two away. Her first hit of the day. Her 17th win of the season. 0-2 to Harrison. Oh, all the way to the backstop, and that's an easy 60 feet for Riley Smith. Pulling the string. The uh, umpire behind the plate calls out Harrison's. Baseball from here. But in between Perhaps. baseball and softball here, at John Crops in a soccer stadium between the two ballparks. Halverson sends it into short right field, but it is handled before it even hit the grass by two out. And we will have one more softball game for you. It's handled by Lorsung. The second out. Second in home runs a season ago with 18 long ball. Hit 370, has had to bear the brunt of a lot of graduation numbers. Boy, just a little half swing and a terrific effort by Koffel. And doesn't it figure, Gamble? But a half swing is what's going to put me on just beyond the dive of Aaron Koffel. Her twin sister Hannah is a pitcher on the squad. That's a solid hit that gets away from Ebbs and right. Courtney Dyfel is waving Gamble home. 
with another arc goes all the way to the wall. And with that, Gam she scores, and Kamenzin able to get to third. So Arkansas taking advantage. And Christina Foreman was one of your favorite players at Duke last year when we were in her fifth year. Hits it right at Lorsung to retire the side, but another unearned run comes with runs. First of a three-game series. Tobias starts things off with the single in the fifth. Exactly what you're looking for in the bottom. Mitchell Lawson needing some offense. Mitchell sends it to Foreman. They start the double play. Don't get it called safe at Koffel, who has a home run today, and Kayla Kowalik. Look what the pair of them do near home plate. I've never seen a catcher that exaggerated outside. And that's a four pitch. Is how many different tools she has available to her. Just one away. Kowalik puts it on the ground. The tag administered by Halverson to get Kowalik. Orson, the Indiana transfer, played three years at Tulsa before transferring. Orson, playable and squeezed by Johnson to end the threat. And the and Florida comes into Knoxville. Casey Hoffman hits it over the head of Hallie Mitchell, who is now playing. That one was stung back up the middle. Hess actually considered redshirting her healthy. Aguirreo first pitch swinging. That's gloved by Koffel. Boy, that was a tremendous F singles. Three straight multi-hit games. The kind of difference they make in a ball game. There's a point. A case of point, rather. Kowalik picked it up just inside fair territory. Only had seven at bats last year. Lefty ahead 0-2. That sprayed down the left field line and Smith just couldn't come up. All the other way out and left. Smith keeps it in front but can't rein it in. So everybody. And they do it again. Halverson with the solid single drives in a run. Halverson offensive categories 0 for 2 with a walk today and a chance to. Got her. Huge strikeout for Hess. Sends it into the gap. Goes all the way to the wall. First pitch she saw from Hess. In that approach, that one, beautiful swing. And beyond the dive of Hallie Mitchell out there in center. For Gamble this season, she had 50. Steady behind the plate, makes it look easy. Big strikeout for Hess to end the inning, but. Skies that just got under it. A little bit of a hiccup in that path to the ball. And now a pinch hitter up for Hamilton. Hits it right at Riho. Second out. It's off, she has one of their 12 hits today. We're just whatever, they use another word, but there were so many incredible, like productive and- As they set some new boundaries. Hoffman sends it into short left field where it is caught by Mitchell. Arkansas was able to extend their lead. Popped up, Koffel can't get, get it on the short hop. Rio gets a straight hit at the top of the lineup. Punched into left field, fourth hit of the game for Johnson. They send the runner home, cut off by Hess. Kayla Kowalik actually gave her the sign to say, it's okay, go ahead and stay, but that miscue is gonna bring Lawson out to have Hoodie, very good decision. Because she wants to be able to display that shirt for Alex Wilcox. Nice catch by Mitchell as she went to her knees to retire. One big reason why they have eight runs on the board, eight runs on 14 hits. Here's a 3-1. Halverson 
wailing on it, but got under it. Koffel calling everybody off. Goes into short left field. Jenna Blanton will hit for Tennessee. Redshirted last year after having Tommy John. Dels fields it, but because the first baseman, Halverson, was playing in, there's no. Drop the drag bunt down the first baseline because there's no one there to defend it. So ability of the defense. Nice bunt to move the runner over. And she tried to, to replace Vanessa, Vanessa Nesby, who struck out a couple of times in the lead. They would need her down the stretch. Dels looks over to third. No, she doesn't have a play. And throws out more walks than hits for Koffel. And she's hitting. Kowalik into left field, playable for Kramer, squeezes it to end performance by Janice Dels, who gets the victory. Janice Dels in the circle gets the entire crew. I'm Pam Ward as we say so long for now from Lexington. See you at 6 Eastern on ESPN2.